Uh, dear Mr. Plandridge, uh, first of all, on behalf of the forum organizers, uh, let me thank you for your participation in the Open Innovations Forum. We really appreciate uh, partnership with Hitachi and hope that it brought positive results to the company in terms of its goals and objectives. Could you please share with your experience from visiting uh, the Open Innovations Forum this year? Yes, and thank you for this opportunity to talk to you. Um, yes, we very much enjoyed it. I think it was our first time there, certainly my first time to attend. And I must say I was extremely impressed by the, the quality of the uh, exhibits and the people there, and also the breadth. Everything from education through to very high-tech, new innovation. So I think the entire forum for us was uh, extremely interesting and very productive. And did you have productive meetings, negotiations on new business acquaintances? Yes, absolutely. We met with very many different organisations there to discuss uh, future collaboration and partnerships around both uh, technology developments and how we see the future of information technology over the next three or four years to see how our plans for the future um, also align with other organisations' beliefs as to what will happen and also some discussions around possible future development and um, one or two opportunities for uh, business in the very near future. So for us, extremely productive. How do you assess the prospects for events such as Open Innovations Forum and how much is it important for gr uh, great enterprises to participate in such events? Um, we think based on what we saw this year, the, the future looks extremely bright. I think if, the, if that standard can be maintained, I think the, the, both the forum and our participation will have a very bright future. So I think looking forward, I think for us, um, excellent. I think it's a very good venue in order to bring lots of different industries together to meet and discuss the future. Um, some of the panel sessions, everything from people might, like myself who are um, involved in day-to-day -day organizations, as it were, and also the opportunity to talk to some um, professors and doctors from some of the research institutes here in, in Moscow, which was extremely interesting for me. In your opinion, how will change the technological landscape in Russia and in the whole world in the coming years? Mm, that's, I think that's a, a very interesting question and it could take many hours to answer that in full. But I think if we look at some of the things that are going on, certainly around big data and analytics right now, um, looking at the data we hold, um, whether we're a bank or whether we're a a city or an archive and looking at the data and how that data can be used to improve our lives and improve the efficiency in which we use natural resources such as oil and gas or water. I think there's a, a very big focus now, not, not just here in Moscow or in Russia, but across the world to, to improve our lives using technology. And I th really think that's where the big opportunity lies in the future. Can you highlight the technological trends which will bring new elements to the Hitachi city of the future for the smart city? And can you please uh, tell us something about new products and solutions of Hitachi? Sure, of course. So, so for us, smart cities, as we call it, uh, is one of our um, prime focus points for now and for the next two or three years, um, integrated in with what we call social innovation. So smart cities is all about being able to monitor things and change things, such as being able to monitor traffic flows and then change sequencing of maybe traffic lights or sequencing roundabouts in order to improve the traffic flow. Um, also being able to look at water usage, so being able to monitor the, the usage of water over a, a 24 or 48 hour period in a city and then look at how do we reduce waste, so leaks, how do we improve pressure into the areas where there's most demand for the water, reduce it where there's not so much demand. So this is really about, as I said, improving our lives and making better use of the resources, uh, the limited resources that we have in the world. So that's really our focus. So this is not so much a product, product anymore, this is about, about how we use the technology to improve our lives. Mr. Plandridge, uh, thanks a lot for your answers, for your opinion. And of course, my last question will be, if you plan to visit Open Innovations Forum next year, and what do you expect from it? No, so thank you. It was, as I said, a very, very, very enjoyable event. I think we, 
we will definitely um, attend again next year because, as I say, it was extremely productive for us. I think next year, I think you will see an increased focus on things like smart city, more around power generation, efficient power generation, efficient use of power generation. Because, you know, power is, is probably the number one issue in most big cities now, being able to have enough power and enough ability to generate enough power to satisfy the demands of large cities. And of course that comes back again to how we use that power most efficiently rather than wasting it, making the best of what we have rather than building net new power plants perhaps to, uh, to satisfy the increasing demands we see. Uh, thank you and it was a great pleasure to see you here in Moscow. Thank you.